Hello everyone, so today I'm going to be talking about how to thicken up your pet leopard gecko. So, uh, someone asked me, um, in my last video to do a video about this. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing today and hopefully this helps you. So the first thing you'll want to do is to make sure that your leopard gecko actually is skinny and you're not just worrying too much and thinking it's skinny when it's not. So, yeah, you don't necessarily need your leopard gecko to be as big as Izri is right here. Izri is big for a leopard gecko, and if your leopard gecko is skinnier than Izri right here, don't worry. That's a normal weight, and Izri is pretty big, and you don't need your leopard gecko to be this, um, big. So, if you're sure your leopard gecko is skinny, um, first you need to figure out whether your leopard gecko is just kind of skinny or whether they're sick or malnourished. So, um, if your leopard gecko is, um, malnourished, um, they usually will, a lot of times they will have a really skinny tail and they, um, might have dull colors and they just won't be very active like a leopard gecko should be and they just won't, just generally won't look very healthy. So if your leopard gecko looks really skinny, like not like a normal leopard gecko should, like really skinny, um, it, just keep in mind that it could be a parasitic infection because there are different kinds of parasitic infections, but one of them is called stick tail disease. And it basically causes your leopard gecko to be extremely thin and basically have um, a stick for a tail. Like, it's not rounded out at all. It's just hardly a tail. Um, so if your leopard gecko looks really skinny like this, um, you should definitely take your leopard gecko to the vet ASAP because um, this is extremely dangerous for leopard geckos, and a lot of leopard geckos that get this, um, die from it. And sometimes, like, it can't even be, um, it can't even be cured. So, if you see, like, if you keep in mind when you're buying a leopard gecko that it doesn't look like this. Um, because... So you don't want to deal with a leopard gecko with stick tail disease. Um, and there are ways to prevent it, but there aren't very many ways to cure it. So if your leopard gecko just is looking healthy and it's just not as thick as you want it, um, there are some things that you can do. So, with a lot of people, when they want um, their leopard gecko to gain weight, what they automatically think of is feeding them more. And this is not a good idea because if you feed them a lot more than normal, um, it might increase their weight, but it also could lead to health problems and to obesity. And you do not want that in a leopard gecko. It's extremely um, dangerous and even though it might look cute, um, obese leopard geckos are prone to health problems and you just don't want to deal with that. So there are other ways to thicken up your leopard gecko other than feeding them more. So, um, what you can do is you can, um, like, introduce a variety of different insects into their diet. Like, if you're only feeding them, like, one or two different kinds of insects, um, what might help is introducing some different healthy kinds of insects. Um, it's best not to do wax worms or any like really fatty insects. Like you could try silkworms or phoenix worms or doobie roaches or just really healthy insects into their diet. And um, yeah, a lot of times the reason your leopard gecko is skinny is because it's just not getting the nutrition it needs. Um, and if you introduce some healthy foods into their diet, um, they might, it might help them gain some weight. 
Also, you should make sure that you're giving them the correct supplements. Um, you should be feeding them, you should be dusting their food with um, calcium twice a week and um, multivitamins with D3 um, once a week. If you have an adult leopard gecko, if you have a baby leopard gecko, um, you'll have to do that more because they have more feeding requirements. Um, so if you're not giving them the correct supplements, um, they might um, be skinny and not be as thick as you want them to be. And they also just might not be as healthy. Um, if you don't give them calcium and supplements, um, that can also lead to metabolic bone disease, which is a disease in leopard geckos that you just really don't want to deal with. It's just not pretty. Um, and yeah, you just want to make sure that doesn't happen and give them all the correct supplements. And a lot of people think they can just use calcium for a supplement, but you also do need multivitamin supplements if you're going to have a healthy leopard gecko. So next big thing is to make sure that your leopard gecko's temperatures are correct. So if your leopard gecko's cage is too cold or too hot, um, your leopard gecko might be kind of skinny because they just aren't getting the nutrition they need because um, their temperatures are incorrect. Um, so make sure that your that your cage is staying at a consistent good temperature um, and that it's not getting... The main thing is don't let your temperatures get too low because leopard geckos that have low temperatures just won't grow as fast. So another thing that you can do to um, like make your leopard gecko gain some weight is to gut load the insects. So this might sound bad, but it's basically just um, feeding your feeder insects um, before you like give them to your leopard gecko. So um, it's important that you um, make sure that you're gut loading your feeder insects because um, there's basically no nutrition in insects that aren't gut loaded um, because the only nutrition that they would give your leopard gecko is from the food that they eat and you want to make sure you're giving them healthy foods and not foods that would be um, bad for your leopard gecko. Like just plain fruits and vegetables and good foods that um, can benefit to your leopard gecko's health. Um, and if you're not gut loading your insects, um, your leopard gecko just might not be getting the nutrition it needs. Um, because there's basically no nutrition in non-gut loaded insects. Um, so yeah, you definitely should do that. Um, and a lot of times leopard geckos won't be as enthusiastic about eating, um, insects that aren't gut loaded because they just won't taste as good because they have nothing in them. Um, so that might also increase your leopard gecko's appetite. Another thing is that if your leopard gecko is a female, um, a lot of times they just won't get as thick as some other leopard geckos because females um, tend to go into like ovulation stages um, for long amounts of time and they a lot of times they just won't eat and they'll lose a lot of weight. Um, and I've never really had that problem with Izri, but I've had that problem before with Mocha because she's just not a really good eater and she just isn't as big as Izri because she goes into certain ovulation stages and she takes long amounts of time off of food. So if your leopard gecko is a female and they do this, um, there's a good chance that you just never will get your leopard gecko um, as big as you want them to. And that's okay, it's okay to have like a somewhat skinny leopard gecko as long as they're not malnourished. Um, you don't need a leopard gecko as big as Izri right here. She's pretty big for her gender and like, just, she's bigger than what a normal leopard gecko would get to be. So the main thing 
in having a healthy and um, thick leopard gecko is to make sure they have a correct setup and their care is where is how it should be. So if they have too small of a cage and they don't have and they're stressed out and they don't have enough hides and they just um aren't getting the right care they need, they don't have the right lighting, they don't have the right heating. Um if they're not getting what they need, um they might not be they might be skinnier than you want them to be. Um, so you should make sure that your setup is um, the best you can um, do and that they have places to go and they're not stressed out. If your leopard gecko is stressed out, they might start losing weight. Um, and it's not good for them to be stressed out. That can actually be really bad for them if you're stressing them out too much. Um, so they need a proper setup and you t need to make sure that you're not like overhandling them or anything and you're being gentle when you handle them and that you're just not stressing them out because stress can lead to um like a poor appetite or just um losing weight so there are a lot of factors that can contribute to your leopard gecko being skinnier than usual um and I wouldn't worry too much if your leopard gecko is just um, a little bit skinnier than you'd want it to and it's not like super skinny um, because a lot of leopard geckos have different body shapes and some leopard geckos just won't get to the same size as diff another leopard gecko will get. Um, so yes, a lot like leopard geckos just have different body shapes and some get bigger than others and some get smaller than others. Um, and if you're doing everything exactly the right way you should, um, then I won't worry too much about your leopard gecko not being, like, super thick. Um, and you definitely don't want your leopard gecko to be obese. Um, don't overfeed your leopard gecko. And it's better for your leopard gecko to be, like, just a little bit skinnier than normal than it, for it to be, like, hugely obese. Also, another thing, I've never tried this, so I'm not exactly sure if it works, but um, a lot of people say that UV light um, can also be really good for your leopard gecko's health, and that might help with the weight problem. Um, and yeah, it basically helps them absorb certain vitamins and minerals better, and it might um, make them healthier and help them gain a little bit of weight. So mainly the thing that contributes to a leopard gecko being skinnier than normal is not getting the nutrition it needs. So you wanna make sure you're giving them um, healthy insects. Um, I wouldn't recommend mealworms as a staple, as I've said before, because they're just not very healthy and they don't give good nutrition. And yeah, they just, aren't a very good feeder insect. You can feed them every once in a while, I do sometimes, but they just aren't a very good staple. So also keep in mind that baby leopard geckos will be skinnier than adult leopard geckos. They're just born that way and you can't really change it. You don't wanna overfeed baby leopard geckos or do anything that I mention in this to them because most likely, um, if they're just a little bit skinny, they're probably healthy because baby leopard geckos just are generally skinnier than adult leopard geckos. So yeah, I, th I think that's about it. Um, I hope I touched everything um, that I should have. Um, and yeah, I hope this helped you guys. Stay tuned for more videos and thank you for watching. Um, and if you aren't subscribed already, don't forget to push that button and push the bell to get notified when I post a new video. And leave a comment if this helped you. Um, and yeah, I think that's all. Bye guys.